Hallelujah. This is two minutes in the Olive Garden. The text for today, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 13. This is the first part of Solomon's 13th saying. It says, Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish them with a rod, they will not die. Many people, even Christians, have tried to water down Proverbs 22.15, which says, Fully is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. They have also tried to water down Proverbs 13.24, which says, Whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. You see, because the Hebrew words for rod and staff are used interchangeably, Many have tried to say that, oh, Solomon was not referring to a cane. The context of the use of rod is what determines whether the writer is referring to cane or staff that is used for support when one is walking or a rod that is used to direct and beat sheep and cattle. In today's text, Solomon says, do not withhold discipline from the child. The Hebrew word there is muzar, which means chastisement, warning, discipline. Then Solomon goes on to specify the kind of muzar he is talking about. Though the NIV says, punish the child with a rod, the original Hebrew word takenu means strike the child with a rod. You can stick to your enlightenment ideas in Ibiye. Oh, we don't be children anymore. It makes them timid. No problem. But don't try to skew God's word deliberately to suit your style of new world age discipline. Beating a child is not wrong. Abusing the child by beating him or her too regularly and beating the child at the least provocation, that is wrong. That is abuse. And that is not what Solomon is speaking about. God's word is true and timeless. It's your choice to apply it with wisdom or not to apply it. The Shalom of Yahweh be upon you.